The city of Tempe paying out a former police chief and his wife $150,000 combined to settle a breach of contract lawsuit. These are taxpayer dollars. And as ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius learned, the deal was reworked at the last minute, approved without a public vote, and it may even run afoul of Arizona law. The deal was signed quietly July 1st, the day before Tempe's new mayor was sworn in. Suspicious because the way they did it, the time they did it. I'm really proud of the fact that I'm leaving an organization in such a great condition. Riff retired in 2015, and his retirement agreement forbade Tempe City officials from disparaging him. But just two years later, Riff claimed current police chief Sylvia Moyer badmouthed him to a prospective employer. Riff filed a notice of claim, a precursor to a lawsuit alleging breach of contract, later adding a similar claim against then councilman David Shapira. This was really a baseless lawsuit. Well, good evening. Happy holidays to everyone. It seemed the lawyers had a deal last December. A $150,000 settlement agreement with Riff appeared on a city council agenda. But at the last minute, then Mayor Mark Mitchell pulled it from consideration. We are going to remove item 5A3 from this agenda. Fast forward to this June, Riff's wife, Roseanne, files her own separate notice of claim, saying the financial losses her husband suffered were suffered by her as well. Just days later, city manager Ching signs not one $150,000 settlement, but two $75,000 settlements, one for Tom Riff and one for his wife. They are literally $1 under the amount that would require a public city council vote. It is really unfortunate that he has uh, extorted, essentially, the city out of this additional money without a vote of the council and that Tempe taxpayers are having to cough up uh, this this money for him. City Manager Ching released a statement saying the decision to settle was not based on any actions taken by our current or former employees, but rather to avoid the expense associated with protracted litigation. But Shapira, who was directly involved in this lawsuit, believes there's more to it. I also understand that Tom Riff was threatening to put information out there that would be according to the settlement, embarrassing to the city, but actually... The city manager would not comment on that, nor how they were legally able to justify the payment to Riff's wife. You see, state law says any notice of claim that is not filed within 180 days after the cause of action accrues is barred, and no action may be maintained thereon. The wife, Roseanne, filed her claim three years after the fact. I, mean, I don't think it would be proper and probably would be illegal for a government simply to hand out money as a gift to somebody simply because they said I've, I was injured three years ago and I, I know I haven't complied with the notice of claim statute. I still want you to give me some money. I think now there needs to be an inquiry conducted either by the new uh, mayor uh, with somebody from the outside to examine the decision that was made by the city manager and the city attorney. Tom Riff's lawyer says that the former police chief feels he's vindicated through this settlement and that they hope the city of Tempe learns not to badmouth former employees contrary to its policies and written promises. Riff's lawyer would not comment on whether the former police chief threatened to expose embarrassing information about the city, nor whether this settlement passes legal muster. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.